Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster, and there is a reason I'm sitting in front of you today with a pair of sunglasses on, and that's because I'm in a very, very bright clearing in my local woodland. Um, now, if you're anything like me and you live in the UK, you'll know we've had some really hot weather recently. Um, I think we're hitting, the set to hit about 35 degrees today, and I can certainly feel it. Uh, but that got me thinking about um, a fire lighting technique that isn't very well known, certainly in the UK, because we don't have the weather for it. Um, and it's using one of these. Now, this is a parabolic mirror. Um, it works in the same way that uh, a magnifying glass would by taking the rays of the sun and focusing them to a small point that you then apply to your tinder. Um, now whether or not you think you can see that from there I'm just kind of flashing that in the uh, in the camera lens just so you can see it um, and if I just bring this a bit closer it is essentially um, a mirrored dish just make sure I can get this in shot guys so it's a mirrored dish that has a little prong on the end where you can attach some tinder in this case I've just taken some dry birch bark um, and what I'm going to do, let me see if I can do this sort of directly in front of the camera. Um, so what you need to do is find out where the sun is and then focus the rays onto your chosen tinder. It can be a little bit tricky, I may not be in the right angle. Um, let me just move this camera a bit closer guys um, and we'll get right in the path of the sun and we'll go from there. Right then guys, so hopefully you can see this. Um, and what I'm going to do, these little strands of birch bark here, I'm just going to angle this up um, and I'll make sure I try and keep it in shot. And there you go, straight away we've got smoke. And what I'm trying to do, get that to actually catch. Um, and that's, that's the tricky part of this, is you can, you can generally always get it to smoke. Whether or not you can get it to burn is another matter. Um, and again, it's very easy to lose where the sun is on this. And you also do need a really hot, intense bit of sunshine for this to work. It's all about getting the angle right and actually getting it to take so we're not getting much luck there apart from a little bit of smoke guys that's fine um, what I'll try and do, let me move some of this around a little bit. See if we can get it a little bit better. Let's have a look. So it's definitely working guys, as you've seen. Now with any luck, I may be able to... That's a bit better. So it looks like, despite my best efforts guys, this birch bark is not actually going to light. Uh, which is unfortunate, but... It kind of does prove the theory. Of what this parabolic mirror can do. I'll just give it a little bit more of a chance. So again guys, you can see that it's all been burnt away, or most of it's been burnt away. Um, it is unfortunate that we couldn't get it to light.
unfortunately what you can't do with birch bark like this is prepare it as you would the same way you would take a spark from a fire still by sort of roughing everything up and having kind of like a, a little bed in there of, uh, of almost sort of very fine shavings to catch the spark. Um, but again, if you were using something like maybe some Amadou here or something like that, that would... Oh, there we go, guys. So we have flame. I really didn't think that was going to happen. Um, so there you go. That is how to use a parabolic mirror to generate a flame. It obviously needed to heat the, uh, the birch bark up to a point that it would almost sort of self-combust. Um, but there you go, guys. Um, I must admit, I'm really pleased with that. I genuinely didn't think that was going to work. Um, uh, and it did, so I'm very, very pleased. Um, but that is the parabolic mirror. As I said, it really only works in very hot, sunny climates. Um, today is an exceptional day, um, certainly in the area that I live. Um, you know, we have had some really nice hot weather recently, and this is certainly the hottest day of the year by far. Um, and I'm really pleased I managed to get this to work. Um, so I hope it was useful, guys. Comments and questions in the box below. Uh, hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks, guys.